Good morning, we're at Gio's grandma's house and we're starting the morning off great. Sebastian pulled his feeding tube out, so that's wonderful. I have to go put a new one in. And I already packed his um, toothbrush, so he has to use an adult sized toothbrush, so that's gonna be fun. But here's his feeding tube. The balloon replacement kit. Oy vey. Right, we bought this what, like three months ago? Yeah. Everything, everything. Uh, everything. <laughs> We're getting ready. Oh, I can't forget my mimosa. Most of the boxes. Good morning, everyone, by the way. After, actually, good afternoon. <laughs> the loft is just about done. Spare bedroom. My bathroom's done. Sebastian's room is done. It's my sister-in-law in the background. And then our room is almost done. To still bring that down and the mattress and then we're sleeping on that tonight <laughs> and then close for tomorrow but it's looking good i don't know Sebastian is doing wonderful with his grandma. She just sent us a couple of pictures, so I'll post them in here, but we're tired, but we're doing good. We're getting the work done. Oy vey, I'm so tired, you guys. Look at that, look at my beautiful cactus. She is the center of attention and I love her. That cactus was given to me by Gio's grandma when I was pregnant with Sebastian, so they're the same age. It's a five-year-old cactus. I'll never get rid of her. Still have a couple of things, but not much, not much at all. Ooh, it's echoing, hello, hello. <laughs> Can you tell I'm sleep deprived? We just have the TV and the TV stand over there. Sebastian's chair we're keeping. The kitchen is so messy because we were eating and drinking, so I think I'm gonna clean that up right now. But that's about it down here what's happening what do you see you guys it's done we have just like a couple of little things we have to we're gonna take Nala's cage down tomorrow morning early tomorrow morning but we're I mean I would say 95% look at that U-Haul truck is packed we have that van Gio's work car and then my car. We're getting ready to go over to um, Gio's grandma's house for dinner. But yeah, that's, that's it. It's getting real. Don't mind the stains on the carpet. <laughs> Empty. Empty. Sebastian's room, empty, and our room is empty. We just, uh, those are our overnight bags. That's, what, like I said, really what we're sleeping with. And, oh, I forgot Gio's clothes. Let me do that real quick. Oh my God, can you imagine? He didn't have any work clothes. And then we have one bottle of soap and one towel for, for tomorrow. And look what I found. This is old picture of Gio and I when we first met. <laughs> I would just like to take this moment in time to say rest in peace to the smoke detectors that everybody <laughs> has been hating. <laughs> say you later. So, you know, I don't know if you can hear me. Hopefully you can, because the water uh, pressure thing is running. You know how everybody, not everybody, U-Haul has satisfied customers on the side of their truck? Well, now we're on their truck. This is my sister-in-law and her husband. <laughs> it's
it's the end of the night and I'm here by myself. Gio, there's a ton of stuff. We Gio had to go drop the yellow car that you've probably seen in the video. We have to drop that off at the new house. And then um, Sebastian's still with his grandma's. I'm gonna go there shortly, but first I have to, I'm gonna stop at the local winery and pick up a bottle of wine for the new owners. And I'm just gonna leave them a little note and hope that, you know, this house feels like home to them, like it has to us. And then we're gonna go have dinner at Gio's grandma's house and then we're gonna spend the night here. We're sleeping on the floor. Don't worry, I have a comfy little pad for Sebastian to sleep on. It's a cushion to one of our indoor benches. So we're sleeping on the floor tonight. And then tomorrow we wake up and we have the closings. We still have to move the animals early tomorrow morning. So we still have a lot of stuff to do, but yeah, we're last night in the house. And now that all the chaos from moving and people and all of that stuff has kind of gone down a little bit, I can um, have a moment to <laughs> reflect and uh, I feel sad. I feel happy because you know change isn't always bad and we're moving into a little bit of a bigger home and more bedrooms so more babies so that's wonderful but um i feel like i feel so stupid crying but i feel like Gio and i kind of grew up here you know like we we became parents here and Sebastian had his first bedroom and his, you know, first everything here. So it feels a little sad. It feels sad leaving here, but um, it's going to be good because we're going to have a new house with a sibling for Sebastian, hopefully. No, I am not pregnant right now. <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, our goal always was we knew when Sebastian came home at three months old, we knew that he would need another heart surgery around age four or five. So we planned on not having any kids until after that last big heart surgery because I just couldn't imagine like Sebastian needing my time at the hospital and then another baby at home like I can't imagine splitting up my time like that. And that's not to say in the future that that won't happen. You know, Sebastian is kind of unpredictable. So I'm sure at some point I will have to split my time just in regards to hospital stays and a child being at home. But, um, so I'm not pregnant right now, but we do plan to have more kids and the house that we're moving into is very big and very, um, very ready for another little little soul <laughs> so that's that's to come hopefully i pray that we're able to have a baby but anyway i'm gonna go grab a bottle of wine for the new owners and get some dinner because i'm hungry and i miss sebastian i haven't seen him all day <laughs> I'm a big kid. Me va a sacar las tripas, tía. Me sacan las tripas. Las tripas, tía. Las tripas. <laughs> That's Sebastian's aunt okay? holding him. Oh boy. Oh boy. Me da risa. 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 Me <laughs> He's, he doesn't laugh like that with her for some reason. Me pa me llevase todas mis cosas, mis toys, a mi new house. Sí. Oh, there it is. <laughs> well, you guys, this is where we'll be sleeping tonight. Last night in the house, I'm trying to talk quiet because Sebastian's trying to fall asleep. But this is it. Last night, we're exhausted, so we're gonna go to bed, but we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, good night. Sebastian was not digging the mattress on the floor, so he's hanging out with us while Gio takes apart Noah's cage. <laughs> Gio, any thoughts on the day? On the move? And anything else? Very hectic, very <laughs> stressful. But? 
See, that's what I keep saying in the videos too. Mama doesn't want me to take her. Look at her, she's biting his finger. Let me get a closer view. What's he doing, Nala? What's what happening? What are you doing? What are you doing with... What? What'd she say? What are you doing? She said something. What you doing? So for the rest of the night, we're going to be taking apart this cage, getting the animals settled in. Sebastian's, I guess, going to go to bed when we go to bed. The beeping you hear is us um, defrosting the freezer because we have a little issue with that. And then we're going to go to bed and then we're going to wake up and we're never going to come back here. <laughs> Say bye. Say bye bye. She's so interested in you. Say good night, Bogey. Good night. Say good night. Good night.